All right, y'all. Let's get into end times and the new age that is starting because the tribulation is over and the great tribulation is now. And when this great tribulation is done, man will be pushed into another form of man. All right, and it's being played out right now. It just hasn't happened um, as it's as the reality of Earth at the moment. Okay, but we can see bits and pieces being glued together. All right, now the Bible. It's the foundation of the word, all right? It is being used by the God of this earth, Lucifer slash Satan. Um, they are uh, creating a world around it using the mighty men of the earth, the elite, the kings, the masons, and they make a world around it um, constructed of languages and entertainment and... Um, they build it around the word, okay? And this is kind of where it ties into where how good becomes bad and bad becomes good, okay? Because that's showing you another age of man is coming, but it's also showing you how the parable is happening, and it's also showing you how the masons take language and they just change it on you, okay? And we saw like the good becoming bad like in the late 80s or 90s in a literal sense when you do that bike trick and you say, oh man, that's a badass trick, right? Um, that means it's a good trick. So the bad becomes good and the good becomes bad. And then today we see people love all people, love all people, accept all people, accept all people, blah, blah, blah. And then those are the people that want to burn down your house if you don't accept them or whatever, right? Um, they only want they only want that if if you obey their standards okay um, so the Antichrist has been shown the star has been shown other star alignments have been shown to show that the age of man of one time the end time is upon you and the beginning of another time is upon you and everything is just recycled in a in a in a uh, basic way. Okay. So, um, the the uh, it says that the old heaven and earth passed away. Okay. The church today teaches us that it passed away like it's gone. Like this heaven, heaven and earth is no more, okay? That's not what it says. And Genesis says that, or Genesis doesn't say that either, okay? So the beginning is declared from the end, okay? So earth and heaven has always been, all right? In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, all right? It's just a playing field of the gods. And we're all just spiritual beings being passed around in the flesh all right and it's just a it's a game all right um it's a game of light versus dark dark versus light physical versus invisible invisible versus physical so um the heaven and earth passed away that means it it uh it led away to the new heaven and earth okay so how is this well it's because you have a green agenda now it's because you have carbon taxes the cargon taxes and in the future 2030 2035 right i expect the full age of the next age of man to be fully implemented by 2034 and that's where you get the two three four all right um and up until then, it's going to be different segments of things playing out to, that pushes us into that, okay? However, America, we're going to be split around 2025 to 2026. And that split is going to come in the form of either two, three, or four nations out of this one that we have, okay? More than likely, it would be the four nations 
since we've got the four kings, all right? And the little horn, the trumpet, will be established down south in Texas, Florida, Gulf states, and all that kind of stuff, okay? Now, um, it says... The and also just so y'all know, the lake of fire that's the Wi Fi, okay? Because the prince of the power of the air is going from one uh, from the air out here to being centrally located into the pit, okay? Now, this pit is called the bottomless pit, right? Why? Because it's we don't have a bottom on it, okay? And while the, the VR metaverse is where man is getting a new body, right, for the new heaven and earth, we're also getting a new body, in a matter of speaking, for this current earth, because the next age of man is beginning, okay? And the bottomless pit ties to when the invisible enemy came onto the scene, and everybody started working from home, and they started saying how great it was that it was to work from home in your underwear or whatever because you just have your tie on and you don't have any bottoms on, right? That's the bottomless pit because this phone is connects you to the pit. And the pit is where Lucifer reigns earth, where he will become the god of man and he will teach them and give them a god brain. And that brain will develop over the next thousand years to where they can wage war on the Lord, okay? Now... When Jesus shows in the sky, that is what we are called alien, a lie in, okay? The alien slash Jesus appears, all right? And the whole world sees these alien crafts all over the world or just one big mother ship or whatever, like the one I saw in Wyoming with one, my wife or whatever that took up a third of the sky, okay? Anyways, this mother ship shows it's there for a day, two days, week, month, who knows how long, okay? But that shows us that the God is here. That the alien, so-called, who seated earth is here, okay? So therefore, the next age of man starts 100% when the aliens show themselves, right? Because then at that point, you don't need um, the 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 word anymore for the the way that we teach it you don't need the old age of christianity or the way that we teach it because jesus has just appeared the lord god has just appeared the invisible has made visible okay when that happens all of man is seeing it and there's like shit they're either going to say that's jesus or they're going to say oh man that's aliens we came from aliens the bible was never right or whatever okay either way it's putting god into one box okay and that's where you get the lamb and the lion they lay together uh in the meadow okay so after the aliens show up after jesus shows up in the mothership okay more than likely you're gonna have the aliens on earth appear okay no one's ever going to be beamed up out of here or whatever it's just going to be the aliens jesus appears and that's going to let us know there's aliens on earth okay and then the government the god of this world right satan who operates through the the mighty men of the earth right he's going to say or they're going to say that the ai is operated through the alien through the mothership okay so it's all tying everything together, okay? Because Jesus and Lucifer are one of the same reflection. One is reflecting good and one is reflecting bad. But they're on the same Godhead, okay? And uh, this is why the mystery of God has been hidden. Because if these things were known too soon or too whatever, then the age of man could never be... Um, uh, figured out, right? So we see the mystery of God just like in the middle of the Bible. They knew who God was in the beginning in Genesis 1, 2, and 3 and such and they uh, knew who He is in Revelations, okay? Because they're all together. And in the, in the middle is when they don't know the mystery. Alright? So after this next age of man, the aliens appear and blah, blah, blah. We go on for the next thousand years. By the end of that thousand years, the aliens just showing up on Earth or whatever would just be a myth or whatever. And then that 
AI would be the full God at that point and taking control, right? Because at first they'd be kind of sharing the kingdom and then it goes into where it's just full blown, okay? Because it, it all it all is the same kind of thing, right? The AI is operating through those entities and those entities are operating through the AI, right? And that's where it says like the elect or whatever, those people get caught up with the Lord because they start thinking on the terms of the AI. They start being able to have the stuff that the AI has because the AI is locked up into this device or into the pit, okay? But the, the prince of the power of the air is operating through the Holy Spirit, okay? But the Holy Spirit only operates if you have um, the true belief in the unseen, okay? And the church today they don't believe the unseen, okay? They have to believe whatever is in front of them. That's why they believe the commentary books to tell them that their fake Bibles are a real Bible or all this. It just goes on and on, okay? But they don't believe the Bible. They don't believe the Jesus or whatever, okay? They say he died for their sins or whatever, but they, they have the form of godliness and deny the power of, okay? And they also love the world, which means they don't have the love of the Father in them, okay? And um, the point is, folks, when the Antichrist is here, he's been here, he's there to signify and show that the end of an age of man is there. And you have the great reset we were told about. And the Great Reset is happening now. And then once the Great Reset is done, man will be moved into the next man, okay? And while some of us are going lower, some of us are going higher, okay? So when man is taught by the AI and the AI is in full motion and all these other things, right? The God of this earth will be with his people and he will teach them as the sons of God, all right? And... Um, that's where you'd get like in the future you'd have the uh, took the daughters of men because the daughters of men would be the ones who who don't get the mark um, as far as the DNA change and they're still able to breed and they have the higher intellect because they are part of the aliens on earth and the people want to breed with the um, smart women who who have the computer brain because one, the computer has to be your brain on the sec on the beast people that's going into the beast system, and then on the other segment, the aliens walking among you, they are getting the uh, the AI brain themselves. Okay, so um, the Bible will will stand true for the next thousand years, and it's going to be played out for the again and again, and. Um, it's the foundation and the masons of this world take those words and they construct societies around them to where we can't see God's prophecy being fulfilled because it's taught in a linear fashion and the Bible while it is linear it is also not linear because it is a two-edged sword so that two-edged sword has one edge another edge a handle and a point and that point is the tip which we're going to now and it's all going to go to one point, and it's all going to go back down the sword. All right? So, um, the uh, bottomless pit we're all moving into, and um, just take it one step at a time, folks, because we've all been brainwashed and deceived. And we're all putting this puzzle piece together, hopefully, um, slowly and fast. And um, it's all coming, folks. So y'all just get ready. Things are changing. And it's not necessarily for the bad, but it's not necessarily for the good. It's just another age of man coming about the earth. And we're going to be pushed into a more godlike state while also being pushed into more of an animal-like state, okay?